the hell happened. <laughs> 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 I'm kidding. Uh, gave up a lead. Uh, we didn't fight late, mm -hmm. and uh, that's on us. And, uh, we got to do better. Tyrese, in several games this year, you all had up 10 15 in the second half and led teams back in the games, but still won. What was different tonight? And can you learn something from actually losing one of those games as opposed but, to escaping? Oh, yeah, you can definitely learn from it. I mean, uh, we've been, like you said, we've been doing it all year, uh, giving up leads. But, uh, I mean, we just got to bounce back. Like I've been saying, you get 24 hours. 24 hours, and then after that, you're back at the drawing board, practicing on Thursday. It seemed like Tennessee got a lot of second rebound, offensive rebounds late. What, what makes the difference? Why were they getting them instead of your guys? Uh, just not tough enough. We lost some loose balls. Uh, we dropped some rebounds, mm -hmm. uh, big crucial rebounds that we dropped, and uh, it's okay. Uh, like I said, we got to get back to the drawing board, 24 hours. So we get to Grimm, and after that, we back at it. Big, big one on floor, uh, Friday, I mean Saturday at Florida. Does it feel a little like dazed and confused when you're up 17 and it feels like you finally are going to drop that hammer on somebody and then you walk out of here with a loss? I mean, it all happened pretty fast. And it did. about a dozen minutes. It did happen fast. But, uh, I mean, at this point, it is what it is. I mean, we gave it up. Uh, hats off to Tennessee. They played great. Uh, they scored the ball down the stretch, got offense rebounds, got stops. And uh, we didn't. So, I mean, this is what it is. We got to go back to the drawing board. Uh, we'll be at practice, practicing hard on Thursday. What do you think of Fulkerson, uh, Tyrese? You know, number 10 for them. Oh, he played well. I mean, he played well. I don't know how much he finished with 20, 27. 27. 27. I mean, that's big. You know, it, it takes those type of performances to beat us. And, uh, I mean, hats off to him. He played a great game. Is it hard to learn the lesson about letting go of leads when you keep winning anyway? I mean, is it maybe, maybe guys, some guys will listen? now that it cost you one? Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess so. Uh, we lost this one. Uh, like you said, we had a lead, and uh, we gave it up. But uh, it's okay. We got to go back to the drawing board. It's not the end of the world. Uh, like I said, got a big one at Florida on Saturday, and uh, we're going to try to finish out the regular season strong. How was Coach Cal after the game, Tyrese? What was his message to you guys? He basically said the same thing. Uh, we need to get together as a team, and uh, – you know, just have a conversation with each other, see if he, we could do, he said we could do something special this year. Uh, it feels like uh, this team is really good, and this team is really gelled and came together. And uh, he doesn't want this to, you know, separate us or bring us apart. So we just got to get together and stay together and uh, stay the course. Are you guys mad about this one? Will this, will this piss loss, some people off? A loss it makes anybody mad. I mean, we always want to win. So, you know, people are sick. But... Like I said, we got 24 hours. 24 hours to grieve and got to let it go. We're back in the drawing board getting ready to go to Florida on Saturday. Rick Barnes called you all underappreciated. Do you think there's anything about this team that's still underappreciated? Uh, I mean, yeah. But uh, I had to talk to Coach Rick Barnes. I mean, he had an unbelievable game plan. They, you know, they got every loose ball. His team fought really hard for him. And uh, like I said, I had to talk to him. He's a great coach. What did Cal have to say to you all in the locker room after the game? Uh, Coach just said, uh, stay together, stay the course. Uh, he feels like this team can do something special this March, this April. And um, he doesn't want this, this to like tear us apart. He wants us to grieve for 24 hours. And after that, we let it go. And we're back at the drawing board on Thursday. He said this team is really tied together. And if one or two guys are having a bad night, it sort of affects everyone's mood. Can you feel that? Obviously, you had you know, a pretty good night point-wise, but just mood um, emotionally. Uh, yes, I mean, this team is very, very close. So, like, the emotional connection is there. So when uh, one of us is down, we got to try to find a way to, uh, as a team, uh, bring it, build their spirits up and uh, make them happy and make them ready to play. I mean, like you said, we are tied together, and uh, we're one unit. So it is what it is.